Hello and welcome back. And today we are going to be reviewing this guy. So yes, I finally got. Well, not finally, because I just got the Cosmoceratops not so long ago. But I got the Beast of the Mesozoic Mid Famous Choice Medusa Ceratops. So let's get into it. By the way, um, I was able to snag this one for a deal off of eBay. So, I don't have the box, but I guess I do have the sleeve, because for some reason they sent the sleeve there. But I don't have the box. And then also quick before we actually end, look at the card. Again, amazing, beautiful, good art. Like, this just looks good. In the back, you can see the, well, the back. You know, that. So, anyways, let's get into the actual figure itself. Starting off, colors. Look at the colors. Like Mattel, when you're making a brightly colored figure, you should be aiming for this. Like, Seriously, this is one of the reasons why BOTM is so popular. Popular, high quality, paleo accurate, premium, highly articulated dinosaur action figures. They're like straight up. <laughs> Seriously, like Spider Dude said, one of the best uses of white on a figure. This is just, it's just awesome. It's not, it's not my favorite BOTM figure ever. It's definitely gotta go to the Vista Hiverser, but it is close. Like, just the colors. Like, who would have thought? Red, gold, metallic blue, more metallic blue, that color. white, black, and tan would make such a good color scheme on a dinosaur. Yeah, it's just gorgeous. Anyways, I'm just gonna stop rambling about that. You can see the colors. So let's get on to the sculpt. Sculpt, again, amazing. Look at it. Got every single detail in there. The mouth is sculpted. Actually, something I noticed that I kind of like is normally I kind of dislike how the mouth is when it's shut. It looks a little weird right there. Really? That's actually a cool detail because it almost looks like how the skin is kind of saving around the mouth. Like, if you had it open and it was roaring, like it's actually roaring, and that's just like this skin kind of flopping down. She kind of looks realistic, I don't know. Like, yeah, a lot of ones, the nice ones up here. I'm not going to go into all the scale detail. Go watch Diner Screen Reviews for that. Yeah, like, just scales all over. Little bumps right there. Camera focus. Bumps right there. Yeah, same. It's good detail. Same as an average thing. BOTM figure, you know that the detail is good. Anyways, articulation. So to start off, the head can go. Has some great side to side. I want to compare it to my Cosmo Ceratops here. Uh, Cosmo definitely is good. Look, but it just feels more fluent to the. Medusa. Can you see there? I don't know. I guess they both have about the same. Still, just. Oh, and then this guy can look a lot higher. I mean, no, but a lot lower. I don't know. Than the, this body size. And then inside there is an articulated tongue. And focus. But you have to like pull the mouth down like this to get at it, so it's kind of useless in a way. And then, yeah, like you saw, mouth open in the chats. Then legs. We got swivel and then like up and downish. Again, same thing. Uh, does does this elbow joint swivel? Uh, oh. Kinda doesn't. 
And then, you know, general like articulation. Then, the body. It goes up and it goes down and it goes side to side. This is one of like the most use you can get out of one of the bodies. Ah, focus camera. Just because you're an eight year old phone doesn't mean you can't focus. But like, yeah. And then legs, typical stuff. I don't know, for some, it might just be mine, but the knees don't like to bend. Like, they have two ratchets. Oh, wait. Here, here, and uh, here, here. Oh, yeah, there's only two. And then the feet, you know. You can do whatever you want with them. You can totally mangle one of these guys if you want to. Yeah, and then tail. Ball joint, and then of course it's got bendy wires so you can pose it however you want. This is really, it's a good figure. Like all the BOTM Sotopsins. I'd say they have about the same articulation. Again, all of them you can make them sit. Just cute. Yeah. Mm, it's, it's just awesome. So anyways, um, I've already spent six minutes of your time as you get into get on to comparison. But here we have it with the Cosmoceratops as you see. Maybe my window doesn't have this good lighting. Sorry. I turned on another light, but that doesn't really help. Yeah, there it is compared to the $50 body size. Um I guess here it is next to a Mattel human figure. And here it also is with a Mattel Velociraptor. You can get a good size estimate from this. And then also here it is with the baby Pentaceratops from Mattel because I don't want to get the big one off my shelf. Then take away those. And here it is with the amazing DOTM Gorgosaurus. I love this Medusa Ceratops, but I think the Gorgosaurus still might be my favorite. In terms of articulation and use, it's probably the Medusa, but the colors and sculpt probably still the Gorgosaurus. Okay, it's awesome. You can go watch my reviews and focus. Anyways, then let's put T-Rex here. So, anyways, my final thoughts on this figure are, yeah, it's, it's an amazing figure. Like, it, I like the original Medusa Ceratops, but this one just knocks out of the water. Like, the previous one is still a good figure, but this one, yeah, it's just a lot better. Again, I personally don't think it's the best Beast of the Mesozoic figure, but it is just awesome. Like, just all of it, it's awesome. Like, yeah, so anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this review. And if you did, well then you should like the video. You should subscribe. You should comment. You should share the video. You should go and buy my e buy from my eBay shop, which I should have a link in the description. And most of all, you should click on one of the videos up here. Yeah. Bye. Goodbye.